Okay, let's see what we got here. Pull this off of here. I'm probably going to have to pull the plug out far enough so I can see the wire. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't really tell much without unscrewing this, so I'm going to just unscrew these these screws at the at the bottom and the top of your plug. Now you can gently pull this out like that. Kind of look at that and see what's going on with that. Now if you have a question, sometimes it's hard to distinguish what size wire they actually have in there. So if you have a question, if you have ever done any electrical before, and if you have any scrap of 14 gauge wire and 12 gauge wire, you can get it out, you can take this out, you can look at the, the size wire on here, make a determination what you think that is. Okay? But I know that it's a 20 amp circuit it's on a 20 amp circuit breaker, so um, I'm going to get some 12 gauge wire, and I'm going to get 12-2 with ground, and that means in the sheathed cable, there's going to be a black wire, a white wire, and a ground wire. You're going to look at this here. There's two black wires now here, and two white wires on the other side, and a ground wire. Look back in the box, I see two wires coming out. So this plug is being fed into the box and then back out of the box. Now I've got to fish another wire down in there. And I'll show you how to do that later. Don't worry about that. Okay? But for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and push this back in and turn the breaker on because I'm not ready to do this job just yet. I'm just kind of getting my bearings, making a material list so I can go to the store. So next time I come here, I'm going to have everything ready. going through all this effort to check this out and to turn the power off. Don't think you're Joe Blow electrician <laughs> and you can pull this out without getting shocked. Because let me tell you, it doesn't take but once or twice for you to do that and uh, it scares the living daylights out of you, for number one. It's not good. Number two, you mess up the end of your screwdriver tip or anything like that. And it's just not a good, safe practice. Now, I've seen electricians do that before. And uh, there's lots of good electricians who are real careful when they're doing that. But I always like to be safe rather than sorry. You need to get in that habit. Okay?